Hi there movie fans and welcome to another edition of Movies. Today we have our crosshairs trained on Civil War, the 2024 film written and directed by Alex Garland about a group of photojournalists attempting to reach Washington DC to capture an interview with Nick Offerman's president, or to record the moment of his capture, and journeying across an America at war with itself to do so. This is not Alex Garland's usual realm, where he has an engaging and interesting output in sci-fi movies, see Men, Ex Machina and Annihilation. Whilst it has been labelled dystopian, Civil War is altogether more grounded in reality and in many respects quite timely too given the ruptures currently evident in American society which may become more so in November 2024, who knows. The media team looking to attempt this journey through a landscape battle-worn and damaged and largely populated by small communities displaying varying degrees of violence, self-preservation and or ideological bent is made up of Kirsten Dunst who plays award-winning photographer Lee, and her companion, Reuters journalist Joel, played by Wagner Mora. They are joined on the journey by another journalist, Sammy, played by Stephen McKinley Henderson, recently the Mentat in Dune Part 1, and picked up along the way is Jessie, played by Kaylee Spaney, herself a budding photojournalist and in awe of Lee and all her accomplishments and accolades. These are all solid performances from these intrepid travellers whose quest at times feels like the journey the hobbits have to make to destroy the one ring on Mount Doom and the landscape is on occasion just as bleak and barren. It is also great to see Kirsten Dunst getting her teeth into some really meaty roles lately following on from a stellar performance in Power of the Dog. There are too some standout moments and scenes of gripping tension. I particularly like the group coming across a grocery store in the middle of some war-torn town where the emphasis was simply on being civil, with the store assistants oblivious or unconcerned with what was raging outside. Jesse Plemons' cameo role as some guerrilla leader or other with his red shades, insouciant manner and hair trigger, who the group had the fatal misfortune to accidentally encounter, is his usual brilliant self, and the ending, in all its unadorned matter-of-factness, is chillingly rendered. If you've got a butt coming on, well, you're right, here it is. In a world seemingly divided between one political, social, ideological, biological, racial view and another, where we are daily invited or coerced to take a side, it seemed out of place having, not having a fuller understanding of the context in which the reporter group were making their journey. Instead, we walk alongside them as they work to cover their story, to reach a president unnamed and of unknown persuasion buffeted from one uneasy moment to another. I understand this is the point of the movie, that we're focused on individual lives going about their daily business with no real skin in the game other than A, surviving and B, getting the story. But still, for me, it dialed down the tension somewhat. But then, on the back of a $50 million budget, the film has grossed $109 million, so what do I know? In many respects, the film resembled Oliver Stones's brilliant and shocking 1986 film Salvador, also about the photojournalist James Woods covering the civil war in El Salvador in the 1980s. That too focused on Woods' efforts to get his Robert Kappa moment, but whilst you didn't need to side with either the hardline governing regime or the leftist guerrillas fighting it, each side as murderous as the other, it helped amp up the tension in the situations Woods faced. Civil War is not a bad movie, it's just not a great one. Watch that and Salvador and you'll see what I mean. We thank you for watching, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you leave a comment we will be glad to respond, otherwise do look out for more movie reviews soon.